Welcome to AMS Radio. I'm joined by Rick Bacon, CEO of Aquametrology Systems. He'll be talking with us about advancements in water quality analyzers and their role in enabling intelligent water treatment systems. Rick, historically, trace metal remediation efforts have relied on manual sampling and laboratory analysis to determine system performance and regulatory or environmental compliance. Why does this approach fall short? I want to begin by questioning this paradigm that testing of regulated heavy metals like zinc, lead, copper, arsenic, chrome 6 is best done in the lab. Labs have their purpose, but they are slow, and results can take several days. And it's probably worthwhile exploring some of the consequences of that. So we saw that uh, US Steel was found to be allowing very toxic chrome 6 to leave its plant in Indiana and pollute Lake Michigan. And this put the health of those who use that lake as a source of drinking water or for recreation at serious, at serious risk. We see it also in uh, industry, in semiconductor plants, where uncontrolled presence of trace metals during chip production can lead to significant uh, losses in, in dollar terms. We see it in uh, wells containing arsenic that have to be treated so that the water is uh, safe to drink. If that treatment system fails, as they do, consumers' health will be put at risk. And very publicly, we see it in the scandal of the exposure of children to lead in school and daycare centres. Their water systems across the USA have been found to have very high levels of lead, and lab-based analysis is hopelessly unsuitable to capturing changes in lead levels that can be brought about by a wide range of factors, many of which are unpredictable. Those are some really compelling examples of, of the effects of, of labs being slow, but uh, is that really the only problem? Well, immediacy is definitely one problem. Um, the other problem is frequency of measurement. You can't be sending samples every 10 minutes to a lab, 24 by 7, 365 days of the year. But high frequency is essential. You can't hope that a sample you take now is going to be representative of anything in 10 minutes' time. On top of all of that, treatment systems are very sophisticated and things can go wrong. First, if the contamination levels in the water that's going to be treated change suddenly or unexpectedly, a treatment system may not be able to cope with that. And that can lead to that treatment system failing, failing to do its job, and that leads to contamination of the water supply or the environment. Again, the US still is an example of that. There, the system failed. So either way, it's essential these events are captured immediately and everyone warned immediately and the system shut down to protect both human health and the environment. So what do, you, what do you say the answer is then? The answer, quite frankly, is online monitoring. Our analyzers deliver high-frequency analysis as often as every five minutes to control treatment systems and act as a canary in the mine. If there's a failure, to shut, if there's a failure in the system, then it will shut everything down so that human health and the environment is protected. And the best bit is that our analyzers are also more accurate and reliable than lab-based methods. We've seen instances where lab results can vary by as much as 25 to 30 percent, even between different labs. Uh, The high-frequency analysis is really interesting. Uh, Are there any other applications for your trace metal analyzers? Yes, definitely. Obviously, we're concerned about a return on investment of the investment in our uh, analyzers. So on the other side of the coin, literally, over-treatment can have a substantial and avoidable cost, but a lab can't provide data fast enough to enable operators to fine-tune their treatment process. So by way of insurance policy, they over-treat, and that brings with it higher energy costs, higher chemical costs, higher waste disposal costs. Well, uh, that's uh, very impressive information, Rick. I I thank you very much for speaking with us today. Uh, So if our listeners want to learn more, how would they go about doing that? Well, the best way of reaching us is through info at aquametrologysystems.com. Thank you very much.